Hello. I've got a guitar. <laughs> I've, um, I'm, a, I'm a musical comedian. Uh, well, well I, I might just be a musician. That, ultimately, the, choi the choice is yours this evening. Um, I wanted to be rock and roll growing up, but, uh, but actually, I'm, I'm quite an awkward sausage. Uh, I, I tried to be rock and roll over, over lockdown and grew my hair in an effort to look like Kurt Cobain. Uh, but looking back, I, I bear a striking resemblance to, to, to my mother. Um, <laughs> who's a beautiful uh, woman. Uh, is this on? Uh, I, uh, I'm going to sing a song about probably the, the worst day of my life. Uh, I, just before lockdown, I went to see a seven-hour play in London's West End uh, on my own, because I'm a crazy lad. Uh, and I went to go see this play, and just by chance, for seven hours on my own, I sat next to my ex-girlfriend. And she was on a, on a date with her new boyfriend. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm going to describe this, uh, this young man to you now. Uh, fucking massive, uh, big boy, big hands. Depressingly, I, I shook them. Uh, I, I felt very safe in his grasp, which... <laughs> wasn't ideal. But he seemed lovely. His, his name was Darren. Uh, and then I did something afterwards that, that no one should ever do, but I'm sure the majority of people in this room have done it. I went to stalk the Darren on the Instagram. Uh, have we all done that? Jamie and Amy, have we... Uh, <laughs> I, I did that, and it, it's fine. It's, it's just curious to see what happened before and what happened after, and, uh, and it was horrifying. Uh, Darren didn't like to wear T-shirts, uh, which was super fun of him. Uh, and then after a while of staring at Darren's perfect filtered nipples, I, I decided that this, this wasn't healthy and that I, I should try and move on like she has. Um, so I've written Darren a song. <laughs> just to let him know that I'm fine. <laughs> Henry Miller once said, the best way to get over a woman is to turn her into literature. Yeah, I've sort of rejigged that. I've decided that the best way to get over a woman is to belittle her new boyfriend's online social media presence. So this is a song for Darren. It's called, Dear My Ex-Girlfriend's Current Boyfriend, in brackets, Darren. Dear My Ex-Girlfriend's Current Boyfriend, this is my song for you Just a lad to say the girl you're in love with I was once in love with two But this is my song to say that I've moved on and I'm okay yeah, Kind of I was stalking you late last night with a bottle of wine by my bedside light And I know it was wrong but it just felt right But if I double tap I'll probably have to kill myself So it looks like you go to the gym I imagine that's very, very nice. You've got muscles on your arms and muscles on your thighs. Muscles on your torso and muscles on your eyes. Uh, very jealous of your muscular eyes. Dear my ex-girlfriend's current boyfriend. I see you've been to Spain and like drinking beer and watching football. Oh, that is a shame. I don't really like your clothes. You seem to wear a lot of chinos and everybody knows. Uh, never trust a man in chinos. Na, na, na. So you're my ex-girl's new honey You got a nice car, but you make a lot of money But can you write a song and make it funny? Ha, 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 probably <laughs> But I'm sure you're a really nice guy Even though you wear t-shirts that say super dry Just FYI, I'm not gonna lie Your girlfriend never had that problem with me Or oh, hashtag burn lads <laughs> Yeah Dear my ex-girlfriend this is my song for your current boyfriend I hope he doesn't take it personally Oh wait, yes I do Dear my ex-girlfriend's current boyfriend You look like a massive twat Especially in that photo where you're wearing That ironic beanie hat It's neither off nor is it on It's in between, it just looks wrong And if it's a fashion choice It's a shit one <laughs> But I know that it's plain to see This is not about Darren, this is about my insecurities For I lost the great love of my life It's now with Darren, not me, she spends her nights So, dear my ex-girlfriend's current boyfriend Never let her go 
Unless she wants to be let go, then don't hold her back against her will. Gotta be fucked up, Darren! Don't make the same mistakes as me. Hold her close, make her happy. And maybe stop working out, please.